Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, March 19th, 2019. Uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies are fluid, so that means that just because it's an, uh, a message that's coming through today does not mean it has to be something that resonates today or happens today. Could be something that's coming on down the pipeline, could be something that happened in the past. May not be anything that resonates with you at all. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, this message is a general energy reading, so it's not specific to like love or career or sign or anything like that. It's just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us today. Okay, so with that said, if you would like a personal reading, if you'd like a look into your own situation, go ahead and shoot me an email. All the information is in the description box below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations and on Facebook at Divine Conversations 2711. Yeah? Okay, let's get to it. I am back to tea today. <laughs> okay. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, March 19th. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. Alrighty, guys, let's see what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna give this two more shuffles. Tuesday, March 19th. Now, I was seeing um, a bit of like a teal or maybe like a pale green color, similar to what I was seeing for yesterday. Um, and so heart chakra awakening, cleansing, clearing continues. Okay, so that's a good thing. All right, Tuesday. March 19th. Ooh, all right. I'm having, I'm having trouble shuffling today. Oh, we got it. <laughs> okay, we've got it. Overall energy, yeah, okay. Death, so transformation. This is a good thing, guys, all right? Um, and we have the Queen of Pentacles again. The Queen of Pentacles came out yesterday. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, right, yep. And then finally we have the Hanged Man and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so lots of Pentacles here. All Pentacles except for two major arcana between Death and the Hanged Man. Now, So, what's going on here? Well, it's the same energy of the Queen of Pentacles that was here yesterday, okay? And this is um, a motherly energy, a very loving, caring, compassionate energy. You could see the Queen of Pentacles as like the nurse. Um, in the energies of it last week, it came up as like, type of, like a type of infirmary, um, a healing uh, maybe like a right like a like a like a hospital type energy or something like that but again the nurse the caretaker um, that kind of thing with the three and the four of Pentacles we have an energy of self mastery here and thus letting go of certain elements of your life that no longer serve you now the problem well I wouldn't say it's a problem um, the situation here is with the hanged man, okay? There's a new perspective that's on the horizon that you're working towards or that could be necessary 
in order for you to really manifest a new opportunity here with the ace of pentacles this could either be the life you're looking to live um the change in life uh, i just heard change in residency for some of you um whatever whatever this change is that you are working on that you're going through here with the transformation of death um there needs to be a new perspective this uh, we'll get into the specifics here because i am going to ask specifically you know what are you we working towards or what are you working towards here in this hanged man energy because it does feel like this is what's standing in the way the most as if 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 anything could be considered standing in the way at this point because you are in fact breaking free it's very interesting but the queen of pentacles energy does feel much um freer clearer like a weight has been lifted off of her shoulders but the beauty of this is no one did it for her she dumped that weight herself and that's what the three of pentacles is saying to me it happened through working on mastering yourself which is still an own ongoing process and actually that is part of what's being spoken about here in the hanged man okay i get it so you're still for some for many of you you're still working on the self-mastery aspect um, which is, a, I guess, a slow process when it comes to releasing things that you may have been holding on to for quite some time. Four of Pentacles, okay? Things that might have been choking you, stifling you, um, holding you back. But ultimately, you're moving towards a new beginning. It could be a new job a new financial situation, a new relationship. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles um, definitely speaks to commitment, you know, in a sense. Um, starting something new. Okay. Cool. So let's get some clarification now then. I do want to start with the hanged man. Now, also, I do want to mention, with this being pentacles here, it's not going to take, or it's not going to be so quick. It's not going to be as quick of a transformation as you might want it to be. Pentacles is the slowest moving de uh, uh, suit in the deck, right? Nothing really happens overnight here. So it's, it's going to take some time. I'm hearing for some of you, it's a long and arduous process, or at least that's what it's feeling like. Okay. But let's get some clarification on this hanged man energy. I'm going to shuffle this one more time. Hanged man spirit. We're going to start there. Okay. I just keep hearing slow and arduous process. Hanged man, please. Just some clarification on that. The Eight of Cups. Yeah. All right. Underneath the deck is the Queen of Cups. So, okay, for some of you, um, hanged, okay, you're, you're in a hanged man state, but in this case, it kind of feels like you're almost keeping yourself there for fear of walking away from some from some things. And it's not even fear, it's it's the emotions surrounding it. With the Queen of Cups here. Compassion, empathy, unconditional love. 
it's hard for you to walk away from this. And actually, whatever it is you're looking to let go of here, which is represented by the Four of Pentacles, um, it's the Queen of Cups energy that I'm feeling for some of you that has been keeping you holding on to it to begin with. Compassion, empathy, unconditional love, emotion, emotional ties. And so this perspective that you're working on cultivating here with the hanged man is in, in some senses um, is learning to turn that unconditional love in on yourself and ex and show yourself that love so which could mean which definitely means in 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 many cases i guess you could say being able to walk away from something that is holding you back that is not working for you that's stifling you that is unfulfilling that is the new perspective you're working on gaining here mm -hmm. okay so now let's talk specifically about this four of pentacles please spirit what does this four of pentacles represent here i'm having trouble shuffling the cards today it's like my hands just don't want to cooperate there we go two of swords hmm what's that two of swords Okay, well, Queen of Cups is underneath the deck again. Yeah, Six of Cups, Ace of Wands, or Ace of Books with the Two of Swords. So some of this has to do with childhood. Um, we could be talking about a family situation here, guys. Whether that be, you know, your parents or you are a parent of some sort. <laughs> of some sort <laughs> whatever um, it's early I'm tired <laughs> um, or a situation like that uh, this has deep emotional ties you guys so it makes sense as to why it would be difficult to let go of makes perfect sense all right um, Interestingly enough, with the Two of Swords here, it's definitely, I'm picking up an energy of refusing or not being able to see the bigger picture or to see what things, were, what they truly are. Um, that could be hard, especially if it involves like a parent or something. You know, it's hard to really break free from that type of situation when it's toxic. But there are deep emotional ties here um, that stem from the past. It could either be from your childhood or just the past, like the not too distant past, or it could be a past life situation. But what is needed to happen here is y you need to write a new book, uh, not even a new chapter. You need to just focus on writing a new book because I feel like for some of you, you're like, well, Maybe we could just write a new chapter. Maybe, you know, we could just turn things around and everything will be okay and it'll be everything that we always wanted. You're holding yourself back by forcing that to happen. If it's not happening naturally, if it's just not flowing, don't force it. Okay? And that's the energy of this Three of Pentacles here. That's that self-mastery. Being able to focus on what it is you desire right but letting go of the attachment the expectation of it to be a certain way to feel a certain way to happen at a certain time just focusing on being in the flow and allowing the universe to bring to you what it is you desire but you have to maintain your focus on it you have to maintain your vibration in relation to it okay Okay. 
I'm trying to see what else I want to clarify. Maybe the Ace of Pentacles. It doesn't even really feel that necessary. And you know what, though? I actually don't want to clarify that because that's not standing in the way. So, okay. But we're transforming here, guys. Emotion has a lot to do with the situation. Emotional ties, love, family, friends. I mean, the Queen of Cups has, <laughs> the Queen of Cups stayed on the bottom of the, of the deck, which I find to be pretty cool. Hmm. All right. Let's get some guidance from the animal spirits. guys guys and gals gals and guys all that good stuff best message please from the animal spirits here guidance um guidance for us in whoa that's too many um in how to handle this transformation here this death firefly Go here we go. Oh, firefly, fly, <laughs> firefly, inspired and fantastic yet fleeting. The firefly contains the light of a thousand stars. It's pure, radiant, and illuminating. This high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. Therefore, the Firefly card indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There is Firefly energy behind every poem, song, and invention. Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it graces our path. What can you do to support this precious and elusive light? Fire, when, uh, when in balance, Firefly, Firefly writes, creates, and brainstorms. When out of balance, Firefly feels burnt out and feels dull. To bring into balance, one must write a poem or draw. Okay. And I want to close the reading with uh, Crystal Mandala. Yes. It was a short one today. It's okay. Short and quick. Alrighty, guys. Best message, please, spirit. Card number 29, which is an 11. Ascended Master Qu uh, Quan Yin and Pearl, Divine Rebel. And it does kind of feel, it does kind of feel like you might you may feel like you're being a bit rebellious here, going against the grain a little bit. <laughs> Which is funny. Because it's not, it's, you're not, really. The only radical thing that you're doing is going for what your heart is and has been truly calling you towards that may go against, you know, other people's wishes, but it's not their life, <laughs> you know? I mean, if, if doing something like that makes you a rebel, then what the hell has this world come to? <laughs> Divine rebel. 
we bring you the blessing of the Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up, create a divine disturbance, and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. They know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the, of the divine. It will have its way in the world, in the hearts of all living beings. It will not be tamed, controlled, restricted, or denied. If there is a rule that gets in the way of that love, then the divine rebel will find another way. So that love, <clears throat> excuse me, so that love can have its way. The divine rebel in you is not meant to do things the way others say you should. Some people may become frustrated with you because they won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected by those who are ready to make love more important than fear and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing the world. Well, gee, that's kind of perfect. All right, guys. So there you have it. It was That was a short one today. I'm slightly surprised. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, go ahead and email me. But other than that, I love you guys so much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee, most likely tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.